The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. They say a story that Rebbechaim Shmulevitz was one time in a bunker, and I believe it was during the Mohammed Atmaut, during the 1948 independence war in Israel, and as the mortar shells were hitting their bomb shelter, so there were stories of they had, having direct hits on different places and people actually losing limbs or dying, and uh, the building was shaking. That's how close the Jordanians were to hitting them. And the story goes is that Reb Chaim Shmulevitz uh, realized that the end was near, the bombing was getting more intense, that means that the Jordanians realized there are Jews in the area, in the vicinity, and they were bombing relentlessly over there. They just wanted to kill as many people as possible. So the ground was shaking, you could not hear from the roar of the bombs and the mortar shells that were being unleashed on them. And Rukhaim Shmulevitz was standing right next to a woman who screamed at the top of her lungs, not realizing that Rukhaim Shmulevitz could hear it, but if you were two people away, you couldn't hear it. And she said, Hashem, you know how much my first, my husband, what he did to me, how much he caused the, so much pain and aggravation and, and suffering, and he just left me, and I'm an iguna, and I don't have a get, I don't have anything, and I'm telling you, Hashem, all that pain, all that suffering that I have, it should all be mochel if you're going to save the people here in this miklat. Please save them. So that, after she said that suddenly, it died down, and then they got the all clear signal. Rukhaim Shalavitz, tell everyone, everyone stop, don't leave right now. And he said, he told the, he waited until, he waited until this woman, she, she obviously didn't hear, whatever. He went until she left, and he says, you want to know why you got saved? It's not because of you tell him, I'll tell you why you got saved. And he told him that story. He says, when someone got hurt so badly, and still they were mochel such a person, Hashem said they gave a great sechut for that as well. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire dot org.